Were you guys aware? Darkness Ablaze? It's two years old now, baby. Yeah, do you know what that means? Hello, beautiful people. Captain Zack Sparrow here. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Let's talk about the mighty, kind of underwhelming Darkness Ablaze. Um, a lot of people seem to like this set, uh, myself included. And I can't really articulate why to you. <laughs> Let's... If you think about it, what are the chase cards in the set? Hmm. I, I don't know. The, the set isn't overly interesting to me. However, I am, literally, I'm a sucker for marketing. I'm a sucker for the booster boxes. I mean, you're going to focus Charizard in a set. You call it Darkness Ablaze. Yeah, I, I'm interested. You know what? I'm, I'm a pretty simple man when it comes to that. You either put, like, a dragon on there, or you put a girl with big personalities and stuff on cards like that's that's really all all you need isn't it fellas girls if you're still watching at this point thanks for hanging in there um so yeah i just uh wait, <laughs> where where am i going with this ah yes darkness ablaze uh, let's talk about some price appreciation for you guys. So I went ahead and did a little bit of digging on TCG Player, and I'm looking at the eBay market space right now as well, and people aren't freaking out saying, oh my goodness, Darkness Display is probably out of print. Um, and definitely at this point, because oh, you just you never know what Pokemon Company's going to do, right? <laughs> I mean, you, you, you don't, but um, it's, it's, pr it's, it's, it's safer to assume that, hey, we might not see this again. There, there's a good chance of that happening. Could we see it reprinted? Sure. Could we all see base set reprinted? Actually, I don't think we could at this point with Watsi. I, I'm not. I'm not sure how that would work. Actually, um, maybe like something else like uh, X Y. Do I think base base X Y? We're gonna see. No, I I don't think so. Uh, so, um, yeah. Any anywho, last year. So like more toward the end of November of last year, but basically a year ago, we saw. Darkness of Blaze booster boxes at around $97 a box. So just, I remember, it's just under $100 a box. Now you're seeing right around $127 a box. Can you get it cheaper than that? Yes. Are boxes selling for more than that as well? Yes. So you're seeing around $127 price point, and I'm looking at TCG Player as well, getting some of this data. I'm looking at eBay sales, but I'm mostly pulling this from TCG Player, just so it's consistent at least, okay? Okay. Now, $97 to $127, that's 30% price increase like that's literally yeah that's 30 percent like wow that's that's pretty good isn't it especially considering if you would have invested in almost anything else during that time like outside of the collectible space or really other collectibles uh cryptocurrency traditional mar markets even even real estate during that time you might have seen a hit during that time you might be negative during that time too i know i'm pretty negative on a lot of stuff i'm just negative in general um so <laughs> Yeah, I do I see boxes going down in price now that we're probably not going to see it printed ever again. No. <laughs> do I think now could be a good time to be picking up some boxes? Yes. Uh, do I think a better time would have been uh, maybe this time last year, potentially? Um like, I mean, you would have seen, well, we just went over a 30% increase, which is fantastic. But um, do I think we'll see another 30% over from from $127 now moving upward from there um, in the next year? Who who knows, right? I mean, the macro market will have to play into that as well, of course. So I don't know. Um, to, to put it blunt to you guys... Um, I, I don't I don't know what the price will do in the next year, but I'm not concerned about the next year. Do I think five, six, seven, eight, ten years from today, Zach will look back and be like, you know what? I'm pretty glad that I bought $120, $125 booster boxes of Darkness Ablaze. Yeah, totally. Um, uh, again, you, you have to assume the, the Pokemon company is going to be thriving five to ten years from now. I don't think that's that big of an ask unless something kind of... Crazy happens at this point with, with where the brand is in the world. Um, crazier things have happened. Um, you know, I used to say stranger things have happened. I literally have made an active mental effort 
to never say that those string of words ever again since that series has come out has uh has that impacted you guys or, or do you still say stranger things have happened or are you kind of thinking like that's a very specific weird thing to not want to say now zach so i i don't know am i am i alone on that or are you like no bro like i, I don't say it either like I, I don't know so maybe i'll wear a stranger things shirt or something i, I probably won't i'm cheap um so yeah so i i think darkness ablaze um, is a good pickup, even right now. I mean, I don't think we're going to see it anymore, even if we do. Um, awesome. You could scoop up more during that downtrend period and then know with confidence that that was probably the last we'll ever see. Generally, once you get to that 18-month mark and then especially to that 24-month mark, that's it. You're done with those sets. Moving on to the next. I'm not saying that that's the guaranteed rule of thumb moving forward. I'm just saying historically, that's what we've seen over the last two decades. So take that however you want to. Uh, that's my opinion moving forward. That's my plan. That's how I cho am choosing to approach this. Zach, do you have some darkness to blaze yourself, you're saying? I do, actually. Am I actively buying right now? No, not really. I'm saying if I was in the spot to where I don't have a bunch of darkness to blaze or if I'm looking to invest in something else knowing that, hey, this just rotated out. And there are always a million things that you can be buying. There's always the newest set of magic. My goodness, there's a new set every single month of something that you could be purchasing. Multiple sets per month if you're uh, across different TCGs, uh, which I know a lot of you are. There's, just, there's always something to buy, isn't there? So I, I like Darkness Ablaze. I think Darkness Ablaze is going to appreciate just fine into the future. Is it one of those sets that is like on the no-no list for me? Is it on my naughty list? No, it, it definitely is not. I, I would totally want some Darkness and Blaze exposure. Um, and I'm very thankful that I do. Um, that's it? I think that's what I, oh, individual card prices. Don't know what's gonna happen there either. Um, I do remember back in May, earlier this year, um, we're talking about the top cards in the sets. I, I'm pretty sure, no, it's $48. That's what we saw for top pricing um, for individual cards, like raw. I don't think we're going to see um, a divergence between singles and box prices in the short term in the next year or two i don't think we're going to see anything crazy any discrepancies there 10 years from now um i i i could we have seen and i could totally see this panning out with darkness of blaze as well um you see more of a detachment of consistent pricing with chase cards and the unopened booster boxes themselves, assuming that people continue opening the boxes and the boxes aren't reprinted following up. And I think that's it. <laughs> so this is what happens when you don't have a script. But I thought about this one, the last two videos that I did, I just recorded. Um, I knew that those weren't that great. I, I do apologize for that. But now I'm like starting to kind of get back in the groove and get my thoughts out a little bit quicker for you. So hopefully, there's some thoughts for you guys to kind of slap around in the old noggin. So I hope that makes sense for you. And yeah, that's that's got to be it for the day. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure that you subscribe and watch another one of my videos. And until next time, until next time, make sure, oh, have you guys gotten any McFlurries lately? I literally went to our local McDonald's. And this was like the second time I've done it last week. Because I just, I forgot that they had them. Because half the time they're down when you go to McDonald's. And I don't actually go to McDonald's that much. If I do go out to eat at somewhere else. Uh, maybe like Chipotle or something like that. Um, but, because uh, <laughs> I know you wanted to know that. But, uh <laughs> I, uh, I got a McFlurry. It was $3.99. I paid $4 for a little McFlurry that I ate in like three bites. Never again. I like those things, but uh, that was the second time I had it. I didn't look at the price last time. Um, I, I was out on the road. I was busy doing stuff, but I uh, I mean, that's not that good of an excuse to not pay attention to the price, but fortunately, I'm, 
I'm in the position where I don't have to check my McFlurry prices all the time, I guess. But um, I uh, <laughs> I looked at the price of that. I was like, three ninety nine. dollars <laughs> so, uh, Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, are your McFlurry prices ridiculous? I'm not getting them again. I'm going to have to... Like, I can go to the Dairy Queen. Like, it's a legitimate Dairy Queen and get a really nice large blizzard for a couple dollars more. Like, that is absolutely the place. Well, hey, did you know that you can get stuff from Walmart for a whole can for like 50 cents? Well, okay, yeah, whatever, and, and like can. Yeah, wh whatever, I'm making fun of you here in this scenario, so. Uh, yeah, I just, I thought that was ridiculous. That, I was gonna say, put a sour taste in my mouth, but like that McFlurry was actually really good but it's not $4 worth of good where I'm at. So I just thought I'd share that. <laughs> Have a good one.